never on, never rending toe. I never go back, bouncing back and forth from Thailand to the Philippines. So every day I'm living out my dreams. All right, what's up, what's up, everybody? Jeffrey here with you. This one is has been an overwhelming request and I'm finally getting to it. Yes, my opinion on where to live, where to go, Thailand versus the Philippines. Now, I'm originally from the Bay Area, so I grew up around a lot of Filipinos. Yes, in the Bay, we call them Gorilla Pinos. And shout out to all the DJs out there. There's a lot of Filipino DJs where I came up. Now, with that being said, I have been in Thailand for a very long time, and Thailand has grown on me. I love Thailand, and I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna compare the two in this little uh, Thailand versus the Philippine battle and give you uh, my thoughts on, the, the end verdict is gonna be where you should stay, where you should live, okay? The five categories are dating, nightlife, food, your daily life that you're gonna be dealing with on the day to day, and then finally number five, my final verdict on where I think you should stay and live. So let's get right into it, no BS, and just jump right in. Okay, my opinion on dating. Let me just give you a little bit of um, you know, what I've observed, what I've seen over the years dealing with uh, both Thai ladies, Filipino ladies, and of course, friends' stories, um, data that I've collected, very intellectual, high class, high quality data from the data pool so we can make an educated statement essay that I can present to you guys. Okay, so as far as when you first meet them, um, a Filipino girl is gonna tell you when are you going to take me to America? When are you going to take me to Germany? When are you going to take me to the UK? Right off the bat, the Filipino girls are ready to leave the Philippines, okay? Where the Thai girls, Thai culture is a little bit different. They are sold that Thailand is the greatest place, that Thai people are the greatest people ever. So they're not really interested in leaving Thailand. Just, um, just something that you note when you're kind of getting into these situations. So if you get serious with a Thai girl, chances are she's going to want to stay here. So you may want to plan your retirement, plan your uh, gray years here in Thailand. Now, complete opposite for the Philippines, right? She wants to go to America. Now there is a chance she may want to go back and see the parents or the, bring the parents to America, okay, as far as the Filipinos go. Now, as far as um, religion and relating this stuff, this is kind of important. Um, I'm going to relate this to attachment and loyalty, okay? Um, the Buddhist belief in, in Thailand is kind of attachment to nothing, right? Everything's very cool. If something doesn't work out, we keep it moving. We keep pushing forward. Now, this is a very cool uh, attitude for casual dating. Some of you may be, look, may be looking, some of you may be looking for casual dating. Some of you may be looking for something a little bit more serious. It's going to be easier. This is general blanket statements, guys going to be generally easier for casual dating here in Thailand, where they're going to have a little bit more Western values. Now, I'm going to talk about this in a second, how this can work to your benefit, because Filipinos are raised with a Catholic mentality. This is more of a Western mentality. Now, if you were to get serious with a Filipina girl, you can talk to her and about, the, about being serious in, in the relationship. And if you were raised with a Christian Catholic background, um, not to say that the religion would be the base, but like, like anything with, with religion, religion is a good framework. So if you can start um, in with the, with the church mentality with the Filipina girl, I think that can be a very good place to return to if there's ever any quarrels or misunderstandings because you already have that kind of common ground cemented in the ground. Now, the third thing that I want to talk about with dating, the ease of meeting someone. Look, both of these places, pretty much everywhere in Southeast Asia is going to be easy to meet someone. You can use Tinder. In Thailand, there's Thai Friendly. In Philippines, I forget what the uh, dating site is over there, but you can always meet someone in a club, a bar, a restaurant, out at the mall. 
very easy to approach and you will know pretty quickly if a girl's into you or if she's not. These women are um, not really shy about saying no and um, not really shy about saying yes. And if it is a transactional thing, you will know that as well. So both are very easy. Um, and for this one, guys, I got to say, this one is a tie because both of them are easy. Both of them have um, different things. It all depends on what you are looking for. And with that being said, let's segue right into nightlife. Now, right off the bat, Thailand has more options, right? And because there's just more popping in many, many, many cities where in, in uh, Philippines, you're kind of going to have to look for it a little bit more if you're outside of Manila or Cebu or Angeles City, right? I mean, hey, it's there. Don't get me wrong. They both go all night. When I was in the Philippines, when I was in Cebu, there was a place right next to the hotel that I was staying. And um, it was like a little outdoor open air bar. And these guys were there I saw them come in in the evening when I went to my room. They were there the next morning at sunup polishing off another bottle. So nightlife, man, you really can get out of control. And um, it's really up to you as far as you want to take it in both places. Both party all night. So again, I got to give this one a tie. But Thailand does have a bit more options. I got a little bit of rain coming down. I'm going to try to knock this thing out before before we get rained out. Uh, anyway, moving on to number three, food. Thailand, spicy food. If you like spicy, you're going to like Thailand. Philippines has food that caters more to the Western palate. Okay, so uh, chicken adobo, I highly recommend if you, had not, if you have not tried. You can definitely get it in America, UK, Germany, Australia. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can find a Filipino restaurant. Um, not too difficult. But the uh, Philippine food tends to have more of like stew type stuff that we are used to eating. And now if you're okay with spicy food, knock yourself out in Thailand. But for this one, I got to give this one. To the Philippines. Philippines wins this one. All right, guys. Okay, guys, for our next category, daily life, I'm breaking this down into three areas being language, safety, and transportation. Now, language, hands down, Philippines is the winner on this one. Most of them um, speak very, very good English, especially if you're in the city centers. So, um, Communication with relationships, they're going to get nuances. They're going to get American humor. So language, Philippines is far and beyond in front. Safety, Thailand is far and beyond in front. I would say I feel a lot safer in Thailand. When I was in the Philippines, when I was in Manila, I saw um, police walking around with big machine guns. Never makes you feel at ease to see somebody walking around on the streets with a big machine gun. Transportation, both are very easy. Both have the uh, Grab app available for taxi. But if you're gonna go on the public transpo, like the Bot Bus here in Patia versus a Jeepney in uh, Philippines, I gotta go with the Bot Bus here in Thailand. The Jeepney is very cool. Um, it's kind of cute. It, when you go to pay, you pass the money up to the other passengers and they pass it up to the driver. So it's more of a team effort, which could probably go <laughs> both ways, right? Let's be honest, guys. So this one, I got to give the transportation to Thailand. But overall, uh, you know, hard to say with this one. The day-to-day, -day, I am going to say just because of the ease of comfort, the uh, modernness of, of Thailand, I have to give this one to Thailand, even though Philippines does win in um language which does carry a lot of weight but overall i'm gonna say day to day thailand is your way to go okay so what's my final verdict i think you can probably guess at this point where i am leaning i'm gonna lean towards convenience okay so for me thailand has everything there is i did mention that the philippines was more for the Western palate, I was referring to the Philippine food. 
But if you do want Western food, very easy to find here in Thailand. Also, coming back to the ladies and dating, the beauty standard, and my Filipino girls, don't get mad at me on this one. You guys are beautiful, but the beauty standard here in Thailand is just ridiculous. It's off the charts, especially in Bangkok and um, some of these other major cities. Let's not leave Phuket, and even Pattaya has to come in, right? But, um, oh man, and let me not forget Chiang Mai. I love my Chiang Mai ladies. But the uh, overall beauty standard here in Thailand is just off the freaking charts. They are some of the most beautiful women walking the planet. And they come in every shape, size, shade, tall, short, you name it. You can find what you're looking for here. Uh, Filipinas are very, very beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But I mean hard to compete with these Thai women. So with all of that being said, guys, my final answer on where you should live, where you should come visit, Thailand comes in at number one with Philippines just behind, just behind, okay? And it's still open for debate. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I missed. Let me know what I touched on that you did like. And um, I hope this was fun and informative for you guys to uh, check out. Thank you for rocking with me. And as always, guys, peace and love.